Hello there. Hi. Hi, I'm Brad. I'm a pharmacist here. Okay. How can I help you? I'm just here to drop off this prescription. Okay. Just going to gather a little bit of information from you right away here. Is okay. You, is this you, Nancy Smith? Uh, yep. Have you been to this pharmacy before? Yep. Okay. And I see your uh, date of birth is August 1st, 1927? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, macro bit. Um, what's going on? Um, so I went to the walk-in clinic because I've been experiencing a lot of pain when mm -hmm. I go um, to the bathroom okay. and, um, sorry. No, that's <laughs> um, totally fine. I've been, I've been, um, having to wake up quite frequently throughout the night. I usually only have to get up once to go to the bathroom, but now it's been like two, three times that I have to get up and it's quite discomforting and I'm feeling quite sweaty today okay. and... I don't know what's going on. I've also started having some pain. And wow, okay. Yeah. Well, you've told me a lot of symptoms you're having, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure you understand, it's going to take about 10 minutes to, to go oh, over okay. everything because I just want to make sure this is appropriate for you. Is okay. that okay? Yeah. And was there anything else you wanted to cover today other no, than this? No, I just need something to make me feel better. And really yeah, I totally understand. That. Yeah. Um, just as I mentioned, I want to make sure I got all the information. So let's just go over a little bit of your medical history. Okay. Do you have any allergies to medications at all? I'm allergic to sulfa. Sulfa? And what happens? Um, it was about 30 years ago, but I got a really bad rash. Okay. Describe the rash to me. I can't remember. Okay, 30 yeah. years ago. So yeah. you were quite young then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, did you get any tightness in your throat or any irritation? Like I that? can't Think remember. You can't remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. And do you take any medication at all? I do. Um, I'm taking three medications. Okay. Um, I'm taking amlodipine. Um, I'm taking hydrochlorothiazide. Sorry, just before amlodipine, do you know the dosage? No. No, that's okay. Hydrochlorothiazide? Yeah, and then I'm also taking um, alendronate, the once a week one. Alendronate? And you don't remember the doses of it? Okay. So from those medications, it looks like you, do you have a history of high blood pressure? Is that I right? Do. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and then what else? Um, the alendronate uh, for bones? Is that okay? Yes, I have osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Any other medical problems or illnesses that I should be aware of? No. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes people take over-the-counter medications, anything like that, herbals, vitamins, anything to help out? Um, I'm taking Caltrate. Caltrate. That makes sense to help yeah. with the bones. Yeah. And no issues with those medications then? Uh, no. Okay. Now let's get back into the symptoms that you were talking about there. Okay. You had mentioned that you were having some problems with uh, increased frequency and maybe some pain. Is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, like I've just been having to get up to go to the bathroom quite more frequently. And then after I go to the bathroom, I feel like I have to go again. And quite painful when I go to the bathroom. But I'm also feeling really sweaty today and having other pain. Okay, describe the, um, uh, the pain that you're getting on, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt. What would you put it as? It's about a 4 to 5 four. out of 10. Does it get worse or better with anything? No, it's no. just been really bad today. Is it constantly there, or does it go away after you pee, or? No, well, it it's it's uh, more in the back. Okay. Yeah. You say in the back. Can you point to just, it? Just uh, just the lower back area. It started this morning. All right. Would yeah. that? Would you say that's like right below your ribs? Would does that be accurate? Yeah, kind okay. of there. Yeah. If I was to tap on it, do you think that would cause you some discomfort? I think so. Yeah, yeah it's quite quite painful. How long has that been going on for? Uh, this morning. Just this morning. And you've been having these symptoms of urgency pain for how long? Two days, about. Two days. Have you, obviously, you saw a physician about this. Uh, is that right, at a walking clinic? Mm -hmm. And uh, what did they tell you? To be honest, the doctor was really busy. Mm -hmm. Kind of just handed the prescription. It was kind of in and out. He, we didn't really talk about anything. He didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. Is this your first um, potential bladder infection? Is that I what think he so. is that what he called it? A bladder infection? Kind of. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you don't remember having any symptoms like this before? No, not for at least probably a few years. Okay. Yeah. Um. I, okay. So you're not a young lady as you are. <laughs> okay. Eighty-six, 86 years old. Okay. So I don't have to ask about pregnancy. Okay. Um, anything else that you've been feeling, like um, dizzy, um, 
lightheaded or confusion or no it's mostly uh the the symptoms that we've kind of discussed yeah. okay what about a fever you said sweaty. Yeah, they, yeah, I've been really sweaty and I've had chills and um, they took my temperature at the walk-in clinic and it was 38.5. 38.5, that's definitely a fever. Um, did they do any other vital signs at the clinic, a blood pressure? Uh, well, that? they did uh, some kind of some lab, lab stuff. Here. Yeah, they, um, I mean, my blood pressure was high, but I'm really anxious right now and I just want to treat this. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it looks like on your lab test that you, your white blood count is up, mm -hmm. which usually signifies a, a, an infection. And from the symptoms you've been describing to me, it sure sounds like a, an infection that possibly started in your bladder. And then um, I'm worried that it might have moved up into your kidneys. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Um, and uh, this medication is, is not good for that if it's moved into your kidneys, okay? Oh. Um, so I would... Uh, recommend something else uh, possibly talking to your doctor about getting some other therapy um, I'm just gonna have a look at a reference sure. if you don't mind and nothing no other symptoms that you can think of that we haven't talked about no. okay All right. And you said the only allergy was to sulfur? Mm -hmm. Did they do a urine culture on you as well? They did. Oh, no. I missed yeah. it? Okay, it's not here yet, that's mm -hmm. why. Okay. Um, so I think that um, once we get that urine culture, we'll know exactly what organism that we need mm -hmm. to treat, mm -hmm. so we can better decide that. But I, I can write you a prescription um, for cefixime. It's a, a different drug mm -hmm. that uh, well, is, is, that. is more beneficial for um, if it's gone to your kidneys. Does that make sense? Sure, yeah. Okay, so I think we'll try that. Okay. And once we get the results for your actual urinalysis, then, mm -hmm. then we can see if we need to change medication at that point. Oh, okay. Okay, so this suffixine... It's just, uh, do I have a pad? We don't, but you can just use. Okay. Okay, this medication is uh, 400 milligrams. You'll take once daily oh, okay. uh, for 14 days, if that's the appropriate medication. Like I said, oh, once okay. we find out the actual results, we'll be able to change that. Okay. Um, I'd like to see you getting better um, relatively quickly because if it's affecting our kidneys, mm -hmm. um, we don't want to mess around with that, okay? Okay. And um, we should probably, we don't have a critical Oh, yeah, we do, which is good right now. But I'd like to, if you, if the symptoms get any worse at all, okay, okay. the pain, you start getting confused, okay. uh, fever goes up, okay. I think we, you should probably go into the hospital and, and get a further assessment, okay? okay? So we'll try this prescription for now, okay. and I'd like to follow up with you in 48 hours, two okay. days, is that fair enough for you? Yeah, that's okay. Just to see if anything's changing, and I will call you sure. when I know the results of this to sure. see if we're on the right track. Okay. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Mrs. Smith, and I uh, hope we can fix this issue for you. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Thank we'll you. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Thanks. 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 47 seconds, boy. You just slid her in.